In 1982, Hasbro reintroduced G.I. Joe as a three and three quarter inch line of action figures in a direct response to Kenner's three and three quarter inch Star Wars line. These new Joes were backed by vehicles and accessories, and today we'll be taking a look at the Field Light Attack Cannon, or FLAC, here on Creed's Collection. The G.I. Joe Flack. This one holds a special place in my heart. It's one of the first G.I. Joe toys I ever received as a child. And one thing I love about this toy and why I chose it for this week's review is the sheer simplicity of it and yet how great of a toy it actually is. It did not come with a G.I. Joe figure, but I went ahead and threw Flint in the seat so you could have an idea of what it looks like with a Joe at the controls. As we go in a little closer, we can see that the detail work is really nice on this, and the decals have a lot too. Here you can see the instrumentation on the control panel, looks really great. And down here there's some markings showing how many Cobra Rattlers they've shot down, I thought that was nice. And it's just really good, it's a great looking piece, I, I like this toy a lot. So as far as moving parts, the three legs are able to fold up like so, and that's I guess in case you need to load it to the back of a truck. And then they've also got a full 360 degree swivel base here for taking out aerial targets. And I'd say roughly a 45 degree pivot here. Now the absolute best feature of this toy is that it is made out of hard plastic. You can take it outside and plop it right down in the dirt and look at it. That thing's glorious. Throw a few G.I. Joes around it and you have an instant impromptu G.I. Joe base. And now for our He-Man size comparison. As you can see here, the flak is about half an inch shorter than the most powerful man in the universe. Well everyone, thanks for watching this review on the Field Light Attack Cannon, or FLAC, from Hasbro's G.I. Joe 1982. And if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. I think this toy is the perfect example of how you don't need a weird gimmick. It doesn't have to transform, nothing has to shoot off of it. If it's just a really cool accessory for your action figures, then kids are going to want it. Guys, I do new toy reviews every Wednesday, so I hope to see you next week here on Creed's Collection.